Hai guys, hari ini gue mau interview Tenor Patrick here dan kita bakal uh, nanyain tentang YouTube dia dan gimana nanti dia di fanfest. So, hi Tenor House Indonesia. Hi, uh, Indonesia is amazing. I love it here. We're so glad you can make it here. Thank you. So, um, as a creator since 2011, how you start everything? Uh, I started everything in kind of a unique way. Um, yeah. I started from touring and doing music okay. um, with a band. And then when the band broke up, that's when I got on YouTube and oh. I started my music channel. Okay, so yeah. what is your inspiration and who your your inspiration for being a YouTuber? Um, most of my inspiration, uh, since it's a music channel, comes from some of my favorite musicians. Um, everyone from the Beatles Whoa, okay. yeah, to uh, yeah. to like a lot of new stuff that you know you hear on the radio to a lot of like underground music. Um, I really listen to everything, a lot of yep. metal, rock, pop, punk, everything in between, a lot of alternative music. So, okay. And how YouTube changed your life as a musician? Uh, well, it's brought me around the world a lot. It's great. Yeah, so, it's I've been fun, traveling. Right? Yeah, yeah, traveling a ton um, and it's, uh, it's really helped me become a better producer, um, yep. recording my own music and videos and those kind of things. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, right? yeah. And do you have a plan to make a collaboration with Indonesian YouTuber? I would love to. Yeah. There are a few. Yeah, definitely. Like uh, Eka Gusawan, that'd be fun. We've we've talked about doing some stuff. Well, I haven't talked directly to him, but oh, okay. we, we at FanFest we were talking about maybe having me do a, a song with someone yeah, okay. else, but it's kind of last minute, so we're not gonna be able to do it for the show. But yeah, uh, we definitely eventually. I'd love to do, you know, something. Cool. Yeah. And you have released your album in 2014. Yeah. Do you want to release a new one? Yeah. So I'm working on a new one now. I'm working oh, on when? one right when now. When you release your album? Um, well, I'm self-producing it, okay. so it's taking a little longer, you know, because I'm still doing YouTube and those kind of things. Um, so I'm trying to kind of balance, yeah. you know, a lot of the the cover stuff while I'm working on the new stuff. But it's a new EP, and it's five new songs that I wrote. And wow, guys, that's a. It's gonna be it's gonna be hot. It's called Everything Good Happens After Midnight, and it should be out in the next couple months. Oh wow! Yeah. And what's all about? Is it love or? Yeah, yeah. Mostly. I wanna, in fact, on my album, I talked a lot about um, the, there was a lot of self-introspective kind of stuff and a um, lot of um, a lot of different types of songs. And I was trying to create something a little bit more thematic, so I created more of a story. Yeah. Um, nice. And so it's more just about yeah, just about love and, and like being young, you know, and, and youthful and like just cool finding for, you know yeah finding people, that yeah. passion. Yeah. And uh, as a songwriter, how many songs that you have been write and for who? I've written tons of songs. I believe you do. Tons of songs. Way more than I've released. Way more. Um, some of my best work uh, I haven't released, which is, you know, it's hard because you want to release it, but it takes time and these things have to marinate and then yeah. you release them at the proper time. But I've, I've written well over a hundred songs um, about all kinds of things. Like I said, some of them are just self-introspective, but I've written songs about my family, about my friends, about my girlfriend, all those kind of okay, things. Okay, yeah. so... <laughs> and yeah. that's inspired you to write a song, right? Your Definitely. daily life, your girlfriend? Yeah. Definitely, very inspiring. That's cool. If you have to choose um, for being a YouTuber or a musician, what will you choose? Um, well, it's funny because they kind of go hand in hand at this point in my yeah. life. They're very interchangeable. Um, my first passion, my, or my first love, you know, is music. And that's what got me into YouTube. It wasn't the other way around. Um, but now that I'm on YouTube, I couldn't imagine not having it. You know, it's so important to me and what I do. So, um, they kind of, you know, you need both. And I'll always make music, you know, and I'll, I'll upload videos as long as people are watching them. Okay, you, so you'll choose to... You have to. Yeah. You have to, because okay. you want people to hear it and that's the best way to get it out. Yeah. Do you have tips and tricks for um, music video creators, especially in Indonesia? Um, yeah, I think music specific. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think one of the best things you can do is find what makes you you, that unique sound quality and, and And once you find that, work on consistency and content and pushing yourself. Even when you don't feel like doing something, just doing yeah. it anyway. Because right. it's really easy. Your body and your mind naturally want to resist things that are uncomfortable. Yeah. And sometimes because you have to push and force them to, uh, in order to yeah. see growth. Everyone been through there, right? Yeah. And um, if you can describe yourself in a one word, what will be? Oh, one word. Just one word, Tanner. One word. Um, passionate. 
passionate. Yeah. Right. Well, I think it's talented, you know, guys. <laughs> well, thank you. And um, since you have fans and there will be a haters, what will you do to face all the haters? Uh, I just focus on positivity. You yeah. Know? I think um, one of my favorite singer-songwriters actually uh, has an album called uh, The Positives. And I think it's important to focus on the positives. Um, Kenny Vasoli is his name, and he said, uh, if, and if you can't see the positives, then you're not looking my way. And I think about that a lot. I think if you're going to look toward me, I hope that you, you see the positivity. And uh, that's really what I'm focused on, because all the, all the negative energy is just exhausting. Yeah, so I try to focus on being positive. I agree with you. And what will you be in five years forward? Five years from now. Let's yeah. see. Five years from now. It's going to be, what, 2000? 21. 2021. That sounds really far in the future. Um, I mean, I'm still going to be doing music because I've done it my whole life and I don't see that ever yeah. stopping. Um, music, uh, more original music, that's one of the main things I want to do is push to have more of uh, the original stuff out that I've written. Um, more touring, hopefully I've been to Jakarta 10 times by well, that time. So. We're, we're waiting for you, right? I love it here. here. I love yeah. it here. So yeah, a lot of touring, a lot of what I've done the last five years, but continuing that and uh, seeing the evolution of where I grow as an artist and, and where that takes me. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous ID and Some Celeste ID channel. Right guys, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See ya! Bye!